Hello and welcome to the video tutorial of Salesforce Smart Multi Weather Information Application. This is a weather exhibit application that unveils the weather of default selected city, leads, accounts, contacts, and contracts in a beautiful manner. There is a multiple theme concept that can be managed as per your need from the admin panel. If I talk about its features, it manages the weather views of multiple cities on your screen. You can easily track the complete weather information of a particular city. This feature is available in leads, accounts, contacts and contracts. Based on the city name provided, the weather of leads, accounts, contacts and contracts will be displayed. So if you take a look at this review, this is a client review of one of the users of Salesforce Smart Multi Weather Information who has emphasized on how it will be beneficial for your organization if you want to schedule the business meetings with your customers well in advance depending on the weather conditions. You can uh, schedule or reschedule the meetings based on the weather condition. If you don't find the weather condition suitable, you can cancel or reschedule the meetings. So that's how it will be beneficial for meeting your business needs. So before we proceed further, we will install this application in our Salesforce org. So to install this, you need to visit App Exchange, and from the drop-down menu, you can see this is an app. So keep this selected and type in there "smart multi weather information" in the search box. and click on search. Uh, click on this application. This is this is our application. And now we'll get an option to install this application in your Salesforce org. You can see get it now button here. Uh, before we proceed with the installation, I would like to show you how it will appear on your record page. Like you can see, this will appear like this. And the color can be changed it's a uh, it's available in multiple themes so you can change the color and this will this is how it will appear on your record page you can go through the details it will have a list of features which we have discussed in our uh, blog this is the user guide manual these are the data sheets and customization guides once you click on this it will redirect you to the web blog, blog this one where you will find all the information related to the setup and configuration so now we'll proceed with the installation part click on get it now so you need to have a salesforce account in order to install this application you cannot continue as a guest if you continue as a guest it will ask you to create the one and install only if you have the Salesforce credentials with you. So I have selected the first option. Go for the first option if you want to install this application in your production org. Otherwise, if you want to install this in your sandbox, you can go for the second option. I'm installing in my dev org, so I have selected the first option here. Uh, these are the package details. You just need to read and agree to the terms and conditions and then click on confirm and install. Now in this page, if you want to install this application for all the users, go for the second option and then click on install. Here you can see it's asking access to the third party website. Uh, in our application, we have used the third party API of Yahoo to fetch the weather details. So we just need to grant access to the third party website and then click on continue. By doing this, we are granting, granting access to the third party API. So you can see the installation is in progress now. Here we go. The installation is completed now. Now you can click on done and then it will take you to the list of installed packages page. You can see this application has been installed in your Salesforce org. Now we can, we can go ahead and configure this application for our classic version and then later on lightning version. Just click on setup.
In the quick find search box, you need to type in the home page layout. Click on this option, home page layout. We'll just add this application in the default home page layout. Click on edit. You just need to look for this option, multi visit checkbox. Check mark this box and then click on next. You need to position this component as per your requirement. For example, I have put it on the top and then click on save. Now, once you click on home, it will show you how it will appear in your home page. Similarly, go to setup and then if you want to have this information appearing on every record page in the quick find search box just type in their user interface you just need to put a check mark on this option show custom sidebar components on all pages by doing this you will be able to see this component on every record page click on save and now we'll try to configure it for classic version in this drop down menu just select multi weather now before you do this you can uh, verify one thing in the profile section that the custom tabs related to this application is default on just type profiles in the quick find search box and then navigate to the system admin profile if you are a system admin then navigate to the system admin profile and you just need to verify that the custom tabs related to this application is default on click on system admin You just need to check for custom tab settings. You can see in the multi weather configuration tab, this is default on, and show multi weather is default on. So, once we have verified it, we can proceed further with the configuration. So, uh, I had clicked on this multi weather in the drop down menu. So, here you will be seeing these two tabs appearing here multi weather configuration and show multi weather to configure this just click on this multi weather configuration tab it will show you the various option you have while configuring this application you can see this you can set the city name here you can put multiple city names here for example you just need to put a semicolon over there and you can select another city name And then click on save uh, there are other attributes as well like you can set the temperature temperature unit in fahrenheit or celsius uh, this is the wind speed you can put a check mark to know the complete weather information of a particular city you can see uh, here there is an option to set the number of next days for example i have set it to five so it is showing you the weather condition of the next five days so that's how it goes so now you just need to click on save And just we need to check for how it is appearing in the leads, accounts, contacts, or contracts page. So if you click on leads tab, open any lead record. For example, I have opened the first record. We just need to see how it is picking up the weather details. You can see the weather details of Virginia city is being displayed over here. So you can look for the address bar. You can see the city name is Virginia. So whatever the city name is, the weather information is being reflected here. So similarly, you can click on accounts tab and 
you can verify if this is working for accounts page or not. Now open any one of the accounts record page. Like for example, I have picked the first one. Just navigate to the address field. This is the billing address and the city name is Burlington. So you will be seeing the weather information of Burlington. This is the temperature. This is the sunny weather. And this is the highest and lowest temperature, wind speed, sunrise and sunset time. You can see the complete weather details over here. So that's how it goes for all the record page. Like even if you can, if you would like to have a look on contacts page, click on contacts tab and then open any contact record. For example, I'm opening the first record. Navigate to the address field. You can see in the address field, the city name is Chicago. So the weather information of Chicago is being reflected over here. Similarly, you can have a look at the complete weather information in the contracts page as well. For example, I have a contract here. Click on this contract number. You can see the billing address is this. Burlington. So it is showing you the weather information of Burlington City. So as I discussed earlier, it is available for leads, contacts, accounts and contracts page. So this is how you can configure it for classic version. So uh, in the features part in the user guide section, I discussed that it is also compatible with Salesforce One mobile app. So all you need to do is add this component to the Salesforce One navigation. In the quick find search box, type in there Salesforce One navigation. Click on this. You can see these are the two tabs available and you can add these two tabs to the selected region. You can put it these two tabs at the top as per your requirement. So now it will appear in your iPad or mobile phone uh, right at the top. You just need to click on save. And in the user guide section, I will, I will show you how it will appear in your mobile phone. For example, you can see like this. These are the two tabs. And you can configure similar to the way you did it in the classic version. So now we'll proceed with the lightning configuration of this application. Switch to lightning experience. So before you configure it for the lightning configuration, you need to take care of one thing, that your domain should be registered first. In fact, to use any application at lightning end, you need to have your domain registered in Salesforce. You can go through this article and you will have a complete list of the steps needed to register your domain in Salesforce. So if you have already done this, you can skip this step. Otherwise, you need to register your domain first and then proceed with the lightning configuration. So, so here, this is the tab. Uh, this, is, this is the lightning view. I click on App Launcher. And look for the multi-weather tab. You can see the multi-weather tab appearing here. Click on this and it will take you to the configuration page. I just click on multi-weather configuration tab. And in, on this page, you will be getting all the options to set as per your requirement. You can set uh, the number of cities, the name, you can put the city name here. You can set the temperature unit. You can select the theme, these are the uh, seven different themes provided by this application. You can use any one of these and then click on save. For example, I have, I have selected blue color and then click on save. If you click on show multi weather tab, it will show you the complete weather information of the cities which you selected in your configuration page.
we have selected the two cities so it is just showing you the weather information of both the cities now we'll uh, configure it for leads accounts contracts and contacts we'll first configure it for leads click on this app la launcher and click on leads tab open any one of the leads this is the lead record page uh, click on this gear icon and then click on edit page uh, this is a visual force component so we just need to add this component to the lead record page so this will open the lightning app builder page for lead record simply scroll down a bit you you can click on visual force here once you click on visual force it will show you the weather component for lead this is the component name lead smw you just need to make sure that this component is selected in this drop down menu you can set the height in pixels here according to your requirement and then click on save click on activate assign as of default and then click on save you can see the activation settings is changed click on activation and then click on save just get back to the leads page again to see how it is appearing on your lead record page you can see it is appearing like this this is the city name you can verify it with the address of this lead scroll down a bit you can check for the address the city name is this and this is what is being reflected over here so similarly you can configure it for accounts as well click on accounts and then open any any of the account record Similarly, click on the gear icon and then click on edit page. Now we'll add the account component of this application on this record page. Scroll down a bit and click on visual force. You can see the account SMW. This is the component name. You just need to make sure that this component has been selected over here. And then click on save. Click on activate, assign as of default, and then click on save. You can see it is activated now, and then click on save, and then get back to the account record page to see how it is appearing over there. You can check with the city name. This is Burlington, and in the address field, you must have. You can see this is the city name Burlington and the weather information of Burlington city. Similarly, we can do it for contacts. Click on contacts, open any contact record, click on this gear icon and then click on edit page. Simply add this visual force component to the contact record page as we did it for the other object. You can drag and drop as well uh, where you want to fix for example if just you uh, click it it will position by default at the top if you want to drag it to the location where you want you can drag it over there and then you just need to make sure that contact SMW is selected over there this one this one is for the contract page if you have uh, if you're trying to configure it for contract record page you can go for the second option otherwise you can go for the contact SMW since we are configuring for contact record page we have selected this option then click on save click on activate 
assign as org default and then click on save just click on save and get back to the contacts record page to see it appearance on your record page you can see the city is chicago you can verify it with the billing address you can see the city name is chicago so now we have configured it for every object record page for which it is compatible similarly you can do it for contracts as well so that's all we have in the configuration part of this tutorial uh, you need to go to the web cool blog if you have still any question you can create a ticket and we'll get back to, to you shortly if you have few questions this is the faq section you can go through these if you have any issue that is close to these these kind of questions you can go through it and you can refer to it for your self-help i hope you must have liked this video if you have still any question you can leave those questions in the comment section i will get back to you with an answer thank you so much for your time have a lovely day bye bye take care